All right, so let's talk about Daddy Freeze here for a second. We'll talk about Daddy Freeze and then we'll round up with uh, the Yule and Edoche story part, right? So Daddy Freeze did a session this morning, okay? There are two parts to the story. As a matter of fact, there are two, two sides to the story. Uh, let me see here. There's a guy, there's a young man that, that there's a, this, I saw it on Instablog Nigeria. Uh, that okay this young man right here let's let's share this this young man right here apparently uh, he jumped I'm just gonna read it so I don't paraphrase too much this young man all right so daddy freeze covered this story and um, he went into some uh, to another angle entirely and he talked about his personal life uh, in a way that I actually appreciate it you know so that's awesome awesome let's see um kathy thank you so much for the super chat five canadian dollars i feel i feel like i'm rich thank you thank you thank you so much get back to it thank you so much for the super chat i appreciate you all right so um this story uh, i'm just gonna read it uh it says 30 year old pastor ends it all shout out to instablog niger uh after his girlfriend served him breakfast in anambra served him breakfast equals to heartbreak meaning he got dumped in anambra state of nigeria a uh, pastor of a pentecostal church in newi Anambra State Pastor Prosper Igboke, 30, has ended it all after his girlfriend served him breakfast. Daily Post reports that the pastor ended it all by, you know, humping off of a building uh, from a two-story building uh, after he was jilted by his lover. A relative of the deceased who spoke to the news outlet under anonymity said the the man had trained his lover in the university meaning he had sent her to school right uh in the university after which she declined his marriage proposal the man was 30 years old at the time of his at the time of his uh, death his girlfriend whom uh he intended to marry disappointed him after seeing her through the university okay he he jumped down from his two-story building and ended it I am surprised that uh, a man of his age and a pastor can do this the relative said hmm that's sad the source said according to the tradition of Leru Anton Anton autonomous community uh, Leru autonomous community of Umunochi, local government area in Abia State. The man would be buried in a forest for committing the utmost ultimate. Um, the man was eventually buried yesterday, Friday, August 25, in a bush. The source added. Okay. Let me see what this comment says. Most people have a very soft heart. If you have never experienced a heartbreak, before that pushed you into a depression that means you've never been in love hmm. just because you're strong enough to survive a broken heart doesn't mean enough everyone is that strong some people even after five years they're still healing yeah emotions no be our mates emotions are crazy some are even married but still haven't gotten over the scars of their past heartbreaks treat people well even if you're not interested again there's a more mature way to break up with people all right that's an assumption that the person did not do it the matured way but okay okay let's continue some will make you look like you are at fault 
just because they want to leave you. Some will push you into offending them and they will use that as an excuse to leave. Some will just ghost. You see, when we're talking about a matter of life and death, this is where I hand, I hand off, okay? So even typically without daddy freeze, uh, bringing some additional stories, his personal stories into this, I wouldn't even, uh, I wouldn't, I'm not interested in covering this kind of story because only God knows uh, what his mental health state was. It clearly wasn't where it's supposed to be because there's no normal people with a healthy mental state that would do that, in my opinion. So out of uh, respect, I generally don't make commentaries on a person that, that, that went out like this. Okay. Um, but Daddy Freeze went on to who's Daddy Freeze? Daddy Freeze is uh, let's just use uh, his page to give him to give him proper um, to give Daddy Freeze his proper accolades. Uh, his page, public figure, Daddy Freeze is almost at a million monitoring spirits. That's good, you know. And by the way, I might I will find time to jump on the show sometimes. I, I'm just not a big fan of panels and stuff like that. It's not really my thing, you know, but I'll try to do that just to, you know, just to be a part of the conversation sometimes. So, um, his pub public figure, Lucifer, I'm sure there's a backstory to that. Servant of Yahuwah, Most High, Scripture teacher, convener, free disciple, leader, free, free nation in Christ, first Nigerian Nicolian award winner oh wow I didn't know that part but anyway that's daddy freeze daddy freeze as well no he did this session I think it was this session earlier this morning uh, covering that story okay and uh, let me see if I can play a little bit of it and then and then I'll tell you what I think I'll just play maybe about 30 seconds of it I don't want to react today all right uh, uh this part is not gonna let me play like this let me find it on youtube i can't fast forward over here so mm -mm -mm. let's see here daddy Frizo. all right daddy freeze so anyway, let, let me fill the gap while i'm looking for that video so he basically went into his own story and uh, men are really going through a lot okay so he did this one uh, earlier today so this is the one that i'm talking about so i watched it and for the first time okay i'm not often on his live session like that but i stumble into any of any of the videos where i see japa or i see relationship talk or if he's talking about it i'm not really interested in that Anything that has to do, I, I do pay attention to what he has to say and particularly the audience that he attracts and their opinions because these are the people that I'm addressing. There's a lot of uh, misfiring all over the place of rhetoric that we're trying to tackle that's clearly not creating good results, you know. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, this story, the fact that this guy uh, uh, humped off, off a off a building because of uh, allegedly because he, uh, the girlfriend who he trained broke up with him I, I thought the Japa you know and the you know <laughs> the men that I've seen Shiggy <laughs> the men that I've seen Shiggy oh, rhetorics I thought it would come into it so I was like you know what mm, yeah like we should you know uh, let, let me pay attention to what he's saying here you know she said that would be great. Yeah, I think it would be great too. But uh, I will see. I will see about that. You know, I'll I call in sometimes. I've called into Pastor Shula show once or twice. You know, it's just, uh, it's just you know. Um, I just uh, I rather I like I like hanging out in the gulag, <laughs> just listening to what people say. Oftentimes more, and then I'm also I'm very busy too. So oftentimes I'm busy while I'm listening to this type of stuff. So, um, so this video right here, let's see uh, if I can play a little bit of it. The recession. Remember, she left in 2014. The whole drama happened in 2015. I filed for divorce in 2015. Um, so 2016, by 2016, by 2015, <laughs> when the story started coming out, 
my the people working with me my luckily i didn't lose my job but she intended to make me lose my job there was a time she brought police to come and to the house because she said i was domestic uh, waiting in the call i don't want to talk the word mm -hmm. so i had no doubt that daddy freeze had seen shege <laughs> from that woman it's obvious right and um but i also know that you know when they when they watch other people's story all of us actually not just daddy freeze when we're looking at other people's story we're looking for the reason why we engage the story because we're looking for how we can relate right so and so that you can tell that that's often is very but today for the first time i felt like it might have done that in other shows i felt like today for the first time i felt his vulnerability in sharing that story for the first time you know it, it could also be more so because he 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 had a you know that i don't care attitude was not involved not so much you know at least towards the end right he talked about the fact that they took the children japa the son particularly the son was 16. the son would be about 21 right now he reminisced it seemed like he reminisced a little bit about i miss ayo he mentioned he even mentioned his name you know and i just felt like that's something that needed to happen you know that's something that needed to happen. now how did this all start I think he made a statement somewhere where he said, I haven't seen my children for seven years and I'm fine. I'm paraphrasing something to that effect, you know. So he got dragged by some people. He said some motivational people, uh, you know, uh, motivational people. Like, well, you know, people trying to dig and psychoanalyze him. Well, there's no way. There's a struggle in there, you know. But today he told the story in a way that he didn't leave. There's a lot of things that he added today that I'm hearing for the first time that I suspected were there. I never suspected that, that if he's just this bad guy, I never suspected that the woman is ex is just this bad woman. In fact, but I've heard him a few times say that, well, we were too young, we were too, which is the reason why he keep preaching to people to be 30, 35 before they get married, which I preach against for my own reasons. I'll give that reason later. Right? Um, I think it's a oversimplified, generalized way of solving the problem. And I think it's disconnected from the problem. Uh, that solution is disconnected from the actual problem, right? So he's using his own story because he felt like if he was married to, he, he actually said if he was married to his wife now, back then he would have messed it up too. Accountability, right? So he, he said that story and then it made sense. He even said to the point that, listen, he could have done something to bring those kids back from America, wherever they went. He had, he had a leverage point through his lawyers that he could have filed some things, and he chose to let go. Ah, letting go. Letting go is such a difficult thing to do, but what would you rather do, right? And, and then I was having a conversation with my wife about this, and I said... If it was easy to let go of what we're saying to let go of, everybody else will be getting it right, right? Obviously, we're talking about a situation where it's super hard to let go. It's very hard to let go of some of these issues, right? It's very hard. It's extremely hard to let go of anything where we will preach to you and say you need to let go. We're talking about family. We're talking about a woman pulling the rug from under you and just in your at least in your perspective you could be wrong by the way but in your perspective you didn't do anything wrong you didn't see it coming most men don't see it coming <laughs> right and she just all of a sudden fell out of love and she said she wanted to move on okay so we are aware that it's hard to let go right but in that moment he chose to let go because he processed it as like what if i brought these children back to and we're just sitting down and i'm sure some people will be like well you can go to therapy you should have done your hardest you know uh motivational speakers on the internet will tell you to you, there's always more you can do the truth is that whenever i come off that way i'm talking about letting go sometimes there's not much you can do there's no guarantee i've never preached guarantee to anybody there's no guarantee anywhere sometimes the only thing you're left with is to let go and again if you notice today's theme seems to be around men's mental health 
Man, you need to let go sometimes. Yes, the reason we're talking about it's extremely hard to let go. We're talking about your children. No woman can take your children. You're like, you're like you want to exercise this control tactics. There's no, there's no, there's no more. There's, there's no saying that if you use the control tactics or you pull all the strings, that your power. There's so much power in letting go. There's so much power in silence that you don't really realize it until maybe the first time. He also talked about the first time that he decided that he's no longer gonna let it control him. He almost hit some kind of pole or something like that, and he thought about maybe it could have been a child it hit, and he was like, I'm not gonna let this control me anymore, right? He talked about the struggles financially during that, during that, during that period of time. These things are real, yes. Just in case you didn't know before, a lot of men are going through a lot not necessarily mean they're not guilty but it's not relevant okay we're talking about collaborative effort between two human beings it's not a matter of one person is guilty or the other okay that's not helpful okay we're talking about two different worlds coming together you need to learn a little bit more than just who benefits from marriage or who is the higher person or who is the most person likely to be a narcissist you need to let go of such rhetorics and engage what you need to learn about relationships that's what you need to do a big part of it not just at the macro level like the like for example in this big of a deal where it's two children he hasn't seen them in seven years sometimes it's at that level sometimes it's in the middle of a small disagreement a lot of people's painful experiences because they have a hard time letting go they have a hard time letting go it's difficult granted it's easier said than done but you still need to learn it right and then it gets easier with time because you're creating better results and also so what about seeing my children why would i not want to see my children listen listen carefully okay if you're not here you won't see your children if your mental health is not stable you still won't see your children if you go into that court and you go and move mad in front of a judge that judge will conclude that it's not healthy for you to see your children okay and you have the whole your whole life ahead of you it, it, the only thing you can do is the certain moves you can make and increase the chances that you can see your children again right that's the only thing you can do and it starts with letting go exactly how that plays out in your personal stories i don't know but it starts with letting go i don't know if i don't know your story in particular but letting go is an absolute okay when it comes to power when it comes to self-awareness social emotional intelligence letting go is an absolute you're going to need it a lot sometimes you just want to be right and you need to let go of that obsession well, I, I i i i you're right okay df still talking about this ex he does <laughs> even i think he even did another show later on after today but uh, yeah he does you know but today for the first time i felt like he was vulnerable enough that we he was it's not balance i'm not talking about balance i'm saying looking at himself and say you know what i was saving myself i thought that was a good message if i don't save myself it's pointless all of it all of it is pointless you go just shall I ye shall I ye shall I ye shall I ye shall I go explain 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 because no evidence no evidence hmm you get it you get it okay. if you don't get it forget about All it right. <laughs> the woman will be talking about things that are bothering them and the man will be doing eyes right and ignoring it I guess this is what Allah calls the blind spot yes it's a blind spot um it, it is what it is you can only see what you can see right and when we're talking about emotions it's worse right your perspective this is why obsession with being right is just it's one of our biggest enemies but i'm right they don't always say i'm right in words there is the attitude the, the mindset like the competitive thing you know yeah, then when she says she know they do again, the man will become shocked and surprised. May we make we pay attention. Yeah, pay attention because no guarantees. 
your spouse can wake up one day and say enough is enough and you might be like i, I didn't see that coming i know that's why it's a big story across the board divorce is a, it's a huge story across the board people are now making up narratives to justify bs that's how big it is so we need to keep paying attention i will keep writing books just so you know <laughs> okay we will keep writing books here about these topics so be on the lookout for that december 30 there's a new date uh number one red flag so look out for that all right uh, people need to embrace therapy this life no balance and we need to seek help and not internalize word that is a word if just as much as you will go visit the doctor for your physical health physical well-being imagine how important the mental state is right aha uh -huh. it's not as simple as that person's right or wrong i guarantee you if you go to uh, uh, a good counselor they're not going to be worried about who is right and wrong <laughs> if they are saying well you two you are wrong they are not professionals they don't know what they're doing they are conf they are just as confused as you and your partner okay because there's nothing you get out of that just resentments additional resentments you know, remember what um, Derek Jackson said Derek Jackson was like what uh, their counselor or their the, the therapist went into rescue mode right because the woman was crying and so you know this happened to me I went to rescue me what happened to him he well he felt some type of way and they fired the <laughs> fired the therapist right that's real a lot of people just go into therapy go argue um, already so imagine if you have a therapist who is seemingly taking sides that's not gonna work you know that's not gonna work there's more to whatever is going on there than than right and wrong okay so i will uh, uh i just thought that was a good uh session with uh that if we's at all i talk about that uh yes men need to worry about mental health how the how this the prescription he makes or he seems to make is what i'm still disagreeing with engage your mental health engage it now right don't cast your story on everybody else and assume that all jackpot story are people with nurses disengaging their marriage when they get to america there's more to that story at an individual level maybe you've seen a lot of nurses because a lot of people are nurses okay there's more to that story somebody said earlier we need to be wise enough to audit ask for audit ask more questions rather than just because even if you go to a regular job they will ask more questions nobody's assuming that just because i see red means it's red no you pay attention to why what's going on right right unless somebody is directly being harmed then you have to go into emergency mode it's not always that you run into emergency mode and you tell people don't jump out you will lose your family if you jump out that's obviously not true right so there's always more to it don't marry a nurse so if you marry a nurse and uh -huh, it's guaranteed they don't say guarantee but they might as well just say guarantee <laughs> they might as well just say guarantee right so or don't marry your mother and wife I was like but marry somebody from the village You're like <sighs> so anyway so that's that with that 